Okay folks, this is a continuation of my experiments with this uh, dual thief-like circuit. I'm going to call it the reverse dual thief because it is different to an ordinary dual thief. The coils are uh, different. Basically, on an ordinary dual thief, this coil here would be either the same size as this one or larger. Uh, on this one, this is the large coil and this is the small one. I'm using a mains transformer, but you can use a toroid uh, coil for this, it will work. But uh, I found out something with this circuit which uh, basically blew my mind. Now it's about NPN silicon transistors. Now they're supposed to cut off at uh, around 0.5 to 0.6 volts on the circuit. Now I've seen them run down to 0.3 volts on dual thief type circuits. But this circuit will run down to uh, 75 millivolts and uh, I found that quite extraordinary. So uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So that's the circuit diagram. I'm going to be using a super cap here. I'm going to show various different transformers here. This is a 22k variable pot. Uh, this will be the 12 volt winding of the transformer. I'm using a 240 volt to 12 volt uh, UK mains transformer for the first test. The LED uh, protects the base emitter junction from uh, reverse voltage and it lights up great. Uh, I'm not using one across the base and emitter. Uh, I might do that later for, uh, to uh, follow the back EMF from this coil somewhere, but uh, I'm not going to use that today. So that's basically uh, the circuit I'll be using and I'll show you uh, it running now. Okay, so here's the setup on the bench and it's the usual plate of spaghetti all the crock leads but I use crock leads because it just makes things uh, easy to change quickly and uh, I'll just run through it quickly with you so we've got a large transformer here and it's a center tap I'm using uh, the center tap and one of the outer legs and uh, this transformer came from an old power supply and I dismantled it slider style uh, it was an old CB radio thing and it's uh, a real beauty that one this is probably my best transformer for this and we've got the 22k pot here the transistor is a 3055 and that's probably the best transistor to use for this. We've got an LED across the base emitter, from emitter to base, sorry. Uh, we've got a super cap here, it's a 2.5 volt, uh, 2 farad, sorry, 20 farad. And it's charged to 144 millivolts. And we've got an amp meter measuring across a 1 ohm resistor. Uh, this radio, I'll switch on now, uh, Liz Motor uses it a lot to uh, hear the, the thing running and uh, it's quite amazing to listen to this because the frequency starts high and then, uh, well, starts low and goes higher and higher. So I'll just start it up and the starting technique is quite unusual. So what I do is I take a knife and I short the uh, emitter, base and collector. Now that's 80 millivolts. The LED's gone out. It's on 76 millivolts and it's still running. And it's cut out now. 77 millivolts. It usually goes down to 75, but 77 is good. So that's the first transistor, uh, transformer, and I'll change it over to another transformer because the transformers uh, don't seem to uh, matter too much unless it's a really, really small one. But uh, I tried uh, is it? this one, and I'll show you this one next. So this is a lot smaller than that one. And uh, I'll wire that one up now and uh, show you the difference. And there's not a lot to tell you the truth. Be back in a minute. 
Okay, quickly before I swap transformers, I'll just show you how a lower voltage this uh, circuit will start on. So it's on 82, 83 millivolts, the capacitor, and I'll short the uh, base emitter collector again. It started up, LEDs lit. It started on, well you saw, 80, 82, 83 millivolts, and that's unheard of for an NPN uh, silicon transistor. And uh, I wonder what it would do uh, with a germanium transistor. So I'll swap the transformers now. Okay, exactly the same setup as before, but we've just changed the transformer for the smaller one there. And also, we're going to start this test off at 100 millivolts, uh, just so it's a, a bit shorter, because we don't want to hear that whine for too long. So uh, I'll start it up now. I'll turn the radio on. And while it's running, I'll just adjust this 22k pot so you can see how that changes the frequency. The current draw there is uh, 1.2 milliamps. And it's gone inaudible now, near enough. And I'll back this potentiometer off. And the frequency will continue to rise as the uh, voltage in that cap decreases. So that's 89 millivolts at 2.6 uh, milliamps. So the LED is about to go out now. It's still hanging in there. Right, I'd say it's just about gone out. But the circuit continues to run after the LED is extinguished. And it's drawing 1.2 milliamps and the capacitor's at 81 millivolts. And it's just cut out now at 81 millivolts. So there's not a big difference between that transformer and uh, the bigger one. And I'll just change it over now to a microwave oven transformer and uh, see how that goes. Okay, I've got the microwave oven transformer here, and I'll just run through uh, the connections with you quickly because they are a bit different to an ordinary transformer. So, is what we have here is uh, two fine wires, that one there and this one here. And they were originally connected to the uh, HV capacitor inside the microwave oven, and we're not using those today, so we can just leave those uh, dangling free. Now, on the primary of the transformer, there should be two tags. Now, the right-hand side one here, goes to battery positive, the left hand side one goes to the collector of the transistor and then if you look above here this winding here is the secondary and there's a tag which connects to one end of this secondary and it's riveted to the body of the transformer. So the actual transformer case is one end of the secondary. Now if we turn it around the other end of the secondary is this tag here and it's this long red wire coming out here but as what I do is I just connect to the, uh, the tag here. Now that tag there goes to the base of the transistor and the case of the uh, microwave transformer, which is the other end of the secondary, goes to the 22K resistor and then to the uh, positive of the battery. So that's basically it. And one other thing as well is if it doesn't work, swap the connections on your primary and uh, that should get it going. So I'll connect this into the circuit now. Okay, the last test with the uh, microwave oven transformer and the capacitor's charged to 200 millivolts. So we'll start her up. 
starts very easy this one and uh, it's what's interesting about this one is it's uh, flashing it's a uh, very very low frequency I'd say it was about 4 Hertz and I switched the radio on so you can hear it it's hard to hear this one because it's uh, so low It's more like a, uh, a penny oscillator, but I'll just increase the uh, potentiometer up, and you can hear it speed up. That's like a penny oscillator now, and the LED's uh, gone steadier. But if I reduce the potentiometer, it's flashing again. But it's what I find interesting about this, it's as if there's a, cap a capacitive effect going on somewhere to create this flashing. Because it is a, a lot lower frequency than the other two transformers. And this transformer will, will run down to 0.80 uh, millivolts, or 80 millivolts, sorry. And it's on 118 now. Now, I, I don't know if there's a an advantage to use a big transformer like this because the other transformers seem to work just as good but this is low frequency turn that off but one thing I will say though if you're going to run this on uh, more than uh, millivolts say a double A battery increase the uh, potentiometer up to the 22k it's zero at this end 22k at this end. All the tests I've started it off at uh, zero uh, ohms. And it's on 104 millivolts. So basically, to sum up, uh, the transistor I would use a uh, 2N3055 because they're as common as muck and they seem to work the best anyway. But it's what I'm scratching my head is uh, basically why are these transistors running so low? Because I've never seen anything run uh, as low as uh, 75 millivolts, which uh, it did on this transformer here. So I'll switch that off now. It's uh, 98 millivolts. And if you've got any ideas of why it's uh, it's these NPN silicon transistors are doing this, because they're supposed to switch off at 0 0.6 to 0 0.5 volts, why are they running on 75 millivolts? Okay, thanks for watching.